and we headed to the Big 12 championship game. 69-65 Iowa State. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, that was crazy, man. Iowa State came and blew them boys out the water. I told you, Houston needed the strippers. They didn't have them. What's poppin', y'all? So we headed to the Big 12 championship game. I wasn't gonna come through. I'm tired. I just got back from Columbia, Missouri, two-hour drive. But I said, hey, if we can make our way in this, we might as well because we in KC, the weather's nice outside, beautiful day, and what better way would be spent on a nice Saturday afternoon than enjoying some primetime college basketball from between Iowa State and Houston. They the two best teams in the Big 12. Crazy enough, KU's not here for the first time in a while. But um, but yeah, y'all, we get it happen the other day. I ain't documented, but I'm gonna document this one. We're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna show y'all what time it is. We gonna, you know, enjoy ourselves some nice, like I said, prime time basketball. Hopefully it's gonna be prime time and good. I don't know if I can sit through another bad basketball game. Like that K-State, uh, Iowa State game. That game was not that great. But we gonna see what's popping and shaking and hopefully it just let it slide right on through. But uh, let's see what's going, let's, let's see what's really about to go down. Um, but yeah. We're gonna walk through this little couple blocks to get to the arena. It's kind of empty downtown. KC. KC is not a bad spot, but it's just real empty right now. It's real empty. I got my mic right here, just in case I want to talk to some people, ask some questions. But the problem is with these basketball games, y'all. You ever go do content at a basketball game? It's really loud inside. It's really loud. Especially at a basketball game when you basically have two home crowds. When I say two home crowds is every time there's a bucket, no matter who scores, there's going to be a lot of cheering. So it's like everybody's real tuned in and focused into the game. You know, when I go to NBA games, it ain't lit like this. Only college basketball. We're going to be at March Madness also next week uh, at the Brooklyn Nets Barclays Center. And yeah. We'll see what's shaking there. I don't know who's playing. Don't really care. Mizzou's not in it. North Carolina is gonna be in it. They're gonna be at one seed, so hopefully we can see North Carolina play. It'd be nice. Um, but yeah, maybe we even sometime in the future I can make me see Caitlin Clark at a game. I uh, maybe pop it to a women's game. We gonna see. But today we focus on this Big 12 championship, y'all. I think I'll give a prediction. I think that uh, I'm gonna go the underdog Iowa State. I think Houston's good, but I think it's underdog season. Iowa State is going to get the, they're going to get the magical powers of Caitlin Clark to will them through this game and make them shake all the way to the top of this tournament and cut down the nets. So that's my pick. Probably going to be wrong, but hey, who doesn't love a good underdog? Who doesn't love a good underdog story? I know I do. Anyways, y'all, let's get inside. So here's the setup we got. Just breaking it down now. It was lit all week. It's uh, it's popping though. Sprint Center, of course. You know, it's a beautiful venue. It's a beautiful venue. You got beautiful people and beautiful vibes. The college basketball experience. If you ain't checked it out, check it out. Coming to KC. But yeah, it's lit. It's lit up in here. I see a lot of KU fans still walking in here. But all right, y'all. It's time to make her shake. It's time to get down to business. It's time to get down to business, y'all. Security, man. Next time is the 
second security line. It's this one. Alright y'all, we made it through the gates. We good. We in the building, as you can see. No? It's lit up in here, alright? Now let's go check out this arena. Yeah y'all. You know I'm gonna get it down. <laughs> We're not a high scoring team. We, we didn't get it done get it done defensively, you know? I, 69 still might be too high. You think so? We'll see. We'll see. It's I gonna mean, be close. Everyone think oh, uh I mean, we already played him twice. I mean I don't think he, yeah. I mean, what's your name? I don't know if either game got over 70. It, it might have a well barely. Like, it's gonna be a defensive battle. Yeah, I like it. I definitely like that. Battle. Okay, well, I'm gonna, if they get that number then you know you gotta go play the lotto after this. Uh, I, I'll play it. I'll play it. <laughs> you got good seats? Uh yeah. Where you sitting? Uh, uh, <laughs> 120 something. We're lower level. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Lower level. Yeah, I'm uh. I've lived down here for 10 years, so I'm used to this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No big deal, then. No big deal. When's the last time they was in the championship game? What happened? Uh. Last time I was here. We beat K State. I think then we beat somebody else. Then we beat KU in the in the championship game. Really? Yeah. When was it? Was, that was that was pre-COVID though. That was like uh, probably two years. Well, you back? You know, first time you back? You know, you giving them good. Well, I've been in Kansas City for ten years. Uh, so I, and I just moved back to Iowa about two years ago. So I that, that, that's a about a third really of my life has been in Kansas City. So this what's better, Kansas bit, City or Iowa? Home. This kind of this kind of my home. Second home. Second okay. Home. Okay. Iowa, where we're in Iowa. Ames. Ames, okay, okay, good city, good city. Great city. Yeah, great city. Look, I'm <laughs> underplaying it, you know, my bad. Kansas City's good too, Kansas City's good Shout too. Shout out Ames, Iowa, man. <laughs> well, cool, well, go Iowa State. I'm sure they're gonna come through with the dub, okay, they're giving that Caitlin Let's Clark go. energy. Yep. They're gonna drain the threes down, I think. Hopefully, hopefully. I think it's gonna happen. Houston, you know, they, they, they match. Houston's tough, I mean, like, it's a, it, you make both teams, like, it's all about defense, you know, like. You But I'm just worried because we were one for 14, First night, one, thankfully, and then we go hot streak the next night. So like, we'll see what's going on tonight. I don't know. Sure. We'll if see. we're in the threes, I think we'll be fine. But if we can't hit the shot, then they, they look pretty hype in warmups just now. They was they was doing the whole little rah rah. But like all the, everybody's down here. There's nobody in Ames right now. As Fran Frischilla said, they shut the lights off. <laughs> they shut the lights off. Um, they got to pick 69 as the winning number. I don't know about that number, but uh, maybe, maybe another number will work. We'll see though. I'm trying to get these players on seats. Alright, y'all. The game about to start. We got free game too.
stay proud of me. I mean, I think it's about 80 20 percent, 80 to 20 ratio of Iowa State. They're not too happy with me. The team is playing like duty. But hey, it's only 6 to 2, so the game just got started. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna have to hide. These people out here might, might uh, throw some chairs or something, but whatever they do in Iowa, they get mad. So. What, is that a bad, is that the wrong answer? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Houston. <laughs>
and time, man. The tie is fresh. Okay, St. Patrick's Day. It's the way. It is. I think they say they, they might it's working. I've been wearing that. You've been wearing that thing all week. Hey, go take it off now. Keep it off for the tournament, the real tournament. Been over the lid. That was crazy, man. Iowa State came and blew them boys out the water. I told you, Houston needed the strippers. They didn't have them. They need to, you know, regroup and bring them to the tournament. Because I'll be at that game if they do that. So after their loss? After they won. Oh, Woo! You got that clean Lipsy jersey, man. That's yeah. authentic right there. Yeah. How you feeling after the game, man? Feeling great. Yeah? yeah. You think how far you you think they got a chance to take the whole thing? I'm gonna have them winning over my bracket. You think so? Yeah. Okay. After that performance against Houston? Yeah, no, they matched up well against Houston. I had them winning the game. Yeah. What about you? How you feeling? Yeah, I've been around the same too. <laughs> he ain't convinced after a 30-point win. Oh snap, coach, what's the world coming to? Who's your team? <laughs> We ain't gonna talk about my team, right? I told y'all Iowa State was coming through with the devil, though, y'all. I mean, beautiful Kansas City in the backdrop. Can't beat it, man. You ain't came through to KC, man. Y'all better make sure y'all come through for next year's Big 12 tournament, because I'm in here. Iowa State, they came correct. 
they came ready to take over the whole entire city, which they did. And uh, yeah, I just hope one day that Mizzou can do the same, but I don't know when that day's gonna be. I'm not gonna hold my breath. But yeah, y'all, it, it was a good time at the game. But uh, until next time, y'all, we out here.